Hey guys, I'm Dave Marchant and today what I'm going to demonstrate is how to paint people and I'm going to do it in a simplified version so it's easy for everybody to do and then you can transfer these people onto the landscapes that I've shown you in the past or draw your own townscape etc. Okay, so we're going to start off with a palette. Uh, I've mixed some skin colour up which we will be starting with. Um, so on my palette I have, I have a crimson red, a vermilion red, I have a cerulean blue, an ultramarine blue, a lemon yellow, a yellow ochre and white. Okay, so there's some of the colours I've mixed up already. So for the skin colour we start with, what you need is plenty of white, a tiny bit of red and a little bit of yellow ochre, not lemon, yellow, yellow ochre, okay. And you can mix those consistencies together, okay, so it's the crimson, the ochre and the white. And those consistencies you can play with to get different colour tones. So, first thing I'm going to do is start off with the head. So I'm going to just paint an oval shape like so. Okay, just an, an oval shape like that. And then, a little bit more paint. Put a small neck on that, and then I'm going to put a triangle coming down to form the chest, the torso, down like so. And then I'm going to do the leg, first leg. I'm going to think of where the joints are, so there's the knee joint. I'm going to come down to the foot, place the foot on, the other leg, down to the other foot. Okay. So it's a very simple drawing so far, painting, sorry. Going to go from the shoulder to the elbow, from the elbow to the wrist, and a little triangle for the, the hand off the wrist. From shoulder up to elbow, elbow up to wrist, hand waving. Got it? Right, when we're doing this, what we've got to think of, every joint, there's a movement. So it's start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Okay, same as the head, same as the knees, the ankles, etc. So again, very, very roughly, I'm going to draw a small a person, a child perhaps, a little guy like this. A bit closer in, again, the same technique, all right? So we've got a little, a head. A triangle, knee, knee to foot, shoulder, elbow, elbow, wrist, and then hand. They're like little aliens so far, aren't they? Do somebody else here. Take your time with the proportions. They do matter, obviously, because it will make the drawing look better if it's well proportioned. A smaller face looking up here. Another person over here. We're going to leave that dry for a little bit and then we're going to actually clothe them. So this is a great technique to use outdoors uh, because when people are walking past it means that you can capture them quite quickly and get a lot of movement into your paintings. Next stage of the painting I'm going to clothe uh, the sort of pin people that I've already painted all right. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to start off by using some blue. So it's a cerulean blue all right I'm going to put some shorts on him. So the first thing I can do is just paint a pair of shorts on him. A couple of lines and I got him in a pair of shorts, yeah? Great stuff. It's for the beach. Could be a great beach scene. Using a darker blue, I'm going to put a t-shirt on this dude. So I'm basically clothing what I've drawn in quite a simplistic way again, all right? Okay, so we just placed a t-shirt on that dude. Crimson red, I'm going to put a pair of uh, shorts on this guy here and I'm going to put the same colour I'm going to just put a t-shirt on this guy right, It's more of a sort of vesty t-shirt a short sleeve more of a dress on this lady I tell you I'll put trousers on this dude and you can see what they look like yeah You 
got that. I put a little design in this t-shirt to enhance it a bit more. Put some stripes on. Obviously an outfit isn't uh, complete unless it's got a, a peak cap on. You can then maybe put little sandals on them. Is put some sand where they're actually standing. Using a tiny brush I can put small um, flavours of um, facial features. There you go. Start putting a background in here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little while now to finish this off and um, show you when it's finished. So I'm going to add some background uh, like I've done in previous videos. Oh no. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Right, so I've been having a bit of fun with this. Uh, what I've done is just popped a little background in there. You see? Okay, so this is a very sketchy painting which can be done outdoors very quickly and brought back to the studio to develop. And uh, a little masterpiece can be uh, made from that then, can it? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please press subscribe and tell your friends and hit that like button too. Cheers guys, catch you next time.